Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys a preview or a view of all the work that goes into the squares of the sidewalk before we even start the job. So we are going to use all this leftover lumber. We usually keep a pile back there of leftover lumber from jobs that we reuse. This job was perfect since every individual square, we don't have to really worry about the wood being slightly bowed or not perfect completely like on a big long run on a driveway or patio we're going to take all this wood two by sixes two by eights everything we're going to rip cut them down to three and a half inches thick like your standard two by four from home depot and then we're going to chop them up into the lengths that we need but we got a little station set up for uh, chopping our lengths rip cutting everything and we just want you guys to see all the work before the work even starts but there it is guys hi Andy stick around and see how this goes down and hopefully we keep all our fingers knock on wood All right, guys, now we got to put them all together and make our shapes. guys there it is we turned a big pile of old lumber into the forms we're going to use this week on this job uh, we measured triple measured everything double checked triple checked they're all the exact dimensions that we need them to be let's see how they turn out once we start popping them into place see you then guys Hey guys, Joe from JM Concrete here. So this week we're doing those random stones. We're doing about nine stones in the back, another seven in the front. Um, stick around for the very little excavation, the framing, the pouring, the prep. Uh, the framing is going to be real fun to get these just the way that I want them. But thanks for clicking on the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. See you then guys.
He's very happy with all of it. One thing I want to point out with this project, just so everybody knows, that made it a lot more difficult but is good for this kind of project is that the soil where these squares are going on top of was so incredibly hard. Besides this one spot where we are here, right here in the, the video, this little corner that was soil that was kind of loosened up from putting these blocks in, every other square took an unbelievable amount of strength and force to drive the stakes in. So I am certain it'll never move. Oh, and then this one in the center that was uh, built up. But even here, the soil was incredibly hard. But all the other ones, the walkway and the other squares around here, just incredibly hard. And then we filled it in with one and a half inch screen rock. So we're certain these stones will never shift in any direction. But I just wanted to point that out in case anyone was curious why it was taking so long for me to drive those stakes in. Since we're getting close to Thanksgiving, I want to point out something that I'm very thankful for, and that's my wife. She, as you can tell, she cut this rebar, she laid it out, she even talked to one of the contractors we were working with, all while I was out dumping a load of screen rock so that I could haul away the machine a day, and from where she started till she till now um, she's learned so much she's learning more every day she's learning how to finish she's learning how to uh, pull trailers and everything and she's becoming such a great help to make my day easier so that I can take care of other things and we've uh, worked together very well as a team to get things done I'm just very thankful for that all right guys did you see that prep everything went well we really had to make sure everything was good with that rod making sure we have the maintain the same level as if it were a solid sidewalk the front same we were working with that wall getting it lined up really good um even though it wasn't flawless for the most part from a distance you'll see that all the lines line up real good 90 degree angles but thanks for taking a look uh we will see you at the pour guys thanks
right, guys, so we are having some fun now. We built a house over the stones. Um, we have really long stakes right in the middle of all this, going the whole way, kind of like the top of a roof. We ran some old uh, boards that were like one by one, two by two, from stake to stake. And then all together, we grabbed the blankets, we placed them down, and then we used some stones that were from the walls they're making that are very heavy to weigh this down. Um, it should be pretty good. Tonight, tomorrow, and the following night are kind of cold. I've seen people not cover in that type of temperature, low 30s, but we wanted to be certain that this was very well protected. It's for one of our great customers, Greenscape Landscapes, and this is a real high-end home, so we don't want to play around with that detail, but let's take a look at back here. We use those big stones to weigh down. Now, usually this isn't that many, uh, actually it is enough with heavy stones like that but usually we'll use a bunch of little stones but these are like 60 pounds each so it should weigh it down as we were placing these down the stakes on the edge of the forms help prop the uh, blankets up a little more too but either way you can see pretty taut all the way is it going to be perfect no i know there's somewhere here where the blanket's making contact but for the most part we shouldn't get much blanket marks and we should get a nice consistent cure here so uh thanks for sticking around guys um we're gonna work through the weekend we're pouring monday and that's gonna be the last pour for the year but we will see you then it's gonna be a patio extension with the sidewalk next week the weather's actually a little bit better than this week but uh thanks for stopping by guys bye hey guys joe from jm concrete here so we came by and our friends over at Greenscapes Landscapes had picked everything up. Look at that sweet little pile right there. Everything's already picked up and for us, ready to go. So let's take a look at these front ones. Give you guys a peek of the final product. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the color that was poured here was mesquite. You'll see though that these are a little bit darker for some reason, just a wee bit, than the back ones. I think these haven't cured very much because the sun wasn't hitting it. So let's go take a look at the back. All right guys, here it is. As you can tell, these, these are a little bit lighter. I think they cured a little better. Oh, there it is guys. Thanks for taking a look. Leave us a like, subscribe. See you next year.